Hey guys, what's up? So, lately I haven't been posting, and that's for personal reasons, as well as it's the end of the school year, so like, all the teachers are kind of cramming things in, I've been really busy, but I thought that I'd post a video about things that happened in 1997. To get started, gas was only $1.22 a gallon. I don't drive, but I have friends who drive, and they always talk about how expensive gas is, and let me tell you. I think if we went back to $1.22, everyone would be happy. Diana of Wales dies. I know I'm pronouncing her name wrong. Sorry, British people. I'm not British, so I wouldn't know these facts. But I heard that the princess and the prince had a kid and named their daughter after her. So it kind of makes up for her death. Microsoft becomes the most valuable company with 260 billion dollars. I want to know if it's still true today, but I'm too lazy to look it up, so congrats to Microsoft for being a very valuable company in 1997. Tiger Woods, at 21, becomes the first youngest golfer to win the Masters. I'm not a sports fan, I have no idea what golf means, but it sounded interesting to all of you sports fans. You should, like, tell me what that means. I'm a little bit confused, because when I think of Masters, I think of school, but obviously it wasn't school. Dolly the cloning sheep was created, which is slightly terrifying that in 1997, that's what they were coming up with, and yet there are still no robots to, like, make my room clean in 2015. Come on, scientists, if you can clone a sheep, you should be able to make me a robot to clean my room. Oh, and breakfast in bed. And maybe a robot that also, like, can do my homework and study for me and basically go to school and do all the things I don't want to do, because that would make sense. The first book of Harry Potter, um, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stones, is published in the year 1998, though, is when it came to America and was known as Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stones. The most popular films were, that I actually care about, were Titanic and Men in Black. I recently fell in love with Titanic. So, yeah, also, I don't understand at the very end how she's the only one who can fit on the, uh, thing that she sits on. I have, I think it's a door. Also, Will Smith is just amazing. I actually own some of his songs. Um, so yeah. Some popular musicians were like Mariah Carey, Foo Fighters, Nine Inch Nails, Counting Crows, Celine Dion, which doesn't surprise me because Titanic, Daft Punk, Sneaker Pimps, Spice Girls, and Aerosmith. Um, some of these names, like Nine Inch Nails and Sneaker Pimps, I, I don't get because I'm just going to leave it at that. Other facts, Ellen DeGeneres um, tells everybody that she's gay. Um, Beanie Babies and Teletubbies and Pokemon and Barbies were the common Christmas presents, which doesn't surprise me at all because I remember getting lots of Barbies. Also lots of- I still have a lot of Beanie Babies, so... The hit song of May was Wanna Be by Spice Girls, which I'm literally obsessed with. May 3rd, the 123rd Kentucky Derby happened, which seems like a lot of Kentucky Derbies. So, yeah. On May 6th, Michael Jackson was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and I still love him despite all of the bad things that have been said about him. I think he is amazing and will always be the king of pop. Not sorry for it. Also, to uh, end this video, I would like to end on the May birthdays of May 20th with Cher and Judy Kahn. I think I said her name wrong, but Judy Kahn was the voice of Pocahontas, which by the way, is a really great movie. I've only seen it like four times, but I saw it the other day and I was just like, why have I never seen this? It's great. Colors of the Wind is like a great song. So congrats to Judy. Like, great song. Ah. So, yeah. Those are my facts about May. And if you have any more facts, you should just like comment down in the doobly doo. So there you have it. If you like this video, make sure you like it. If you want to subscribe, which I know you do, click that red button. If you have a comment, comment down in the skirt. And as always, I will see you next Saturday. Dream on. Bye.